Welcome back, my friends. Anyone have anxiety? If you're like most people, the answer is yes, or you just laughed because obviously, yes. <laughs> Uh, it's a problem today. Some anxiety is good, a little bit of anxiety. It helps us avoid danger. Um, it helps us survive. But the anxiety that most of us are feeling on a day-to-day -day basis, chronic anxiety, is putting us in the state of fight, flight, or freeze. Even if there's no real danger, because perceived danger is actually the same as real danger as far as our bodies are concerned. So a lot of us have anxiety because there is just so much on our plate. We are running around all the time. We are trying to do a million things and do them perfectly. Our to-do list is just full. And a lot of us think busy is a good thing. That's sort of praised as an honorable thing to be is super busy. But we're wearing ourselves out. We're burning out and we're not able to one, be as effective and, um, and productive as we'd like to be. And two, we're not enjoying our lives. We're just rushing through them and you know, what's the point? I would love to get us all to slow down and breathe and start enjoying our lives. You can still be busy, but it doesn't have to be frantic. And if you take some time to alleviate your anxiety, if you take some time for yourself, you'll find that the time that you do spend with work or family or anything else you need to take care of is more productive and that you can do more in less time because you'll be energized and you'll feel better and your quality of life will be better and you'll be calmer and more content. And you think about it, fight, flight, freeze. That's where we get stuck. We either want to fight, um, and if you're in sort of that aggressive uh, state, you're certainly not being as productive as you can, um, certainly not building relationships. And if you're in flight, you're running away, you're running away from your problems, running away from you have, what you have to do. And of course, that's not productive or effective. Or you freeze and you're stuck and there's nothing you can do. It, it seems like there's just um, nowhere to turn and that's kind of a dangerous place to be. So we don't want to get stuck. And what I'd like to do today is a little self-massage to calm our anxiety, to have us all breathe together and start to make this a regular practice so that we can live our lives instead of rushing through them. So take a nice deep breath with me in through the nose, and out through the mouth. See if you can elongate that breath, so taking more time to breathe in. And a nice long exhale. Let's do it again. Try to make it even slower, even longer. Breathe in. Fill the belly, fill the lungs, fill the back. And sigh on your exhale. <sighs> and smile. Even if you don't mean it, just give a little smile. It can really help. Think about where in your body you feel anxiety the most. Some people feel it as a tightening in the chest. Some people feel it in their gut. Uh, some people, it's the neck and shoulders get really tense. Some people cramp up their feet and their toes. It could be anywhere. So just take a moment and feel where do you feel the anxiety the strongest in your body? I want you to notice that. And I want you to think about what that looks like. What the texture of that anxiety? Is it hard? Is it soft? Is it bumpy? Is it smooth? Really just kind of go with me here, pretending that the anxiety is actually a tangible thing. So think about what color it is. Is it bright? Is it dull? Think about how big it is. How much room is it taking up inside of your body? What's the temperature? Is it cold? Is it hot? And take a moment to just breathe into that place. And as you begin to exhale, 
See if you can start to shift that anxiety. See if it's hard, can you make it softer? If it's red, can you maybe make it blue or green? If it's rough, can you make it smooth? Use the breath to do these. If it's really, really hot and burning, can you cool it off? Can you imagine it just being washed over with cool water? Whatever it is to you, just sort of imagine that, visualize it as much as you can, and know that you have the power to shift what's happening in your body. It's amazing, really. So go ahead and breathe into that again. And exhale it out, exhale the anxiety, let it go. Really nice. Let's start with an ear massage. And actually, if your hands are cold like mine, go ahead and give them a good rub. It's winter here in New York City and it's really winter, around, around zero degrees. So let's warm up those hands. And then start giving a nice ear massage and just pulling. I've got my hands kind of like doing a little circle. You can go all the way around to the earlobes. Give the earlobes a pull down. Actually feels really good. Give them a pull up. Give them a pull back. Good, and just kind of make circles, start at the very top, go all the way around. Nice, and rub your hands together and just set them over your ears and take a few breaths. Hmm. That's great. Let's move to our jaws. If you feel over in the temporal mandibular joint, you open and close, you'll feel that joint pop out, that bone pop out. So you know you're on your jaw. Go really gentle there. It's very sensitive. Just little circles. And see if you can unclench the teeth. Just let the bottom jaw drop. What a concept. It might not look very flattering, but just let it drop. Uh, you can drool, it's okay. I mean, if you're alone. If you're with other people, maybe not. Hopefully you're alone. And just enjoying this time by yourself. And bring it all the way down the jawline like you see me doing. Little circles going all the way down along that jawline, along that bone. Keep that jaw dropped. Go ahead right under the cheekbones in here, right under those cheekbones, and begin to slide down as you open your mouth and just let it all drop. Just use the weight of your hands to pull that all the way down. Ah. Down to the chin. Give your chin a little squeeze. The tongue, you can actually massage right under the chin, right over here. It gets very, very tight. Let's let it go. Great. Let's massage right behind the ears. There's this bone over here called the mastoid process. That's a good place to just rub nice circles. You can put a nice amount of pressure here. Of course, use the pressure that feels good to you. Nothing should hurt. Everything should feel good. And while we're there, let's start picking up that cranial fascia and do a nice scalp massage. Now, I'm not brushing over the scalp. I'm not giving myself a shampoo. I'm actually moving the tissue, and you could probably see it in my forehead and my eye that I'm actually lifting and lowering and 
going back and forth with the tissue there. So go ahead and do that because that's going to feel really good. See which way it's not moving so much. Maybe it won't move to the left or right so much or back or forward. And then just hold it in that direction and take a deep breath and see if you can free up that movement a little bit. Not forcing it, just holding and breathing, imagining it softening and releasing. Move on to another place. Remember to get the bottom of the scalp. You can go into the occipitals. That's at the very base of the cranium. Those occipital muscles get so tight. So where you feel that bone ridge down at the bottom. Right? Great. When your scalp is feeling nice and loose and tingly, take two thumbs and put them on that famous third eye. So you be like between your eyebrows and maybe a little higher. Oh, it's such a good spot. Just put some nice pressure, lean into that. Mm, just feel your whole head release. Whew. Oh, it's such a good spot. And I'm going to hang out here a little longer just because it feels good. <laughs> Ah, really has an effect on your whole body, which is amazing. Okay, drop the hands, roll the shoulders. And let's get that upper trapezius that always gets so tight. So go ahead and squeeze that tissue right there. If you need to slacken it, you can move your ear towards that shoulder and then you can get a better grip on it if it's too hard to grip. And just start doing little circles again like this, like we were doing with the ear little circles. And by the way, this is not precise techniques. This is not massage therapy school. I'm just showing you some ideas and you find what feels good. You find what serves you best. You play with it and you'll experiment and you'll figure out you'll be your own best massage therapist. Okay, and you can grab the tissue and do a little stretch, bringing the opposite ear to the opposite shoulder really gently. Don't force it just as much as it'll let you go. Sometimes when you hold it and breathe, you can go a little farther. Mmm, so good. Just give it a squeeze. Like you're giving yourself a hug. You deserve it. You work hard. Just let it go here. Mmm. Mm, so good. Okay. Let's go to the other side. If you need to slacken to get the tissue, just bring your ear towards your shoulder and start doing your little circles. And you can go from the neck out to the shoulder as you go. Any place that feels particularly tender or tight, just grip it and hang on to it, giving it some nice firm pressure, but nothing that hurts. Sometimes you'll feel a little discomfort or a little referral pain. Maybe you'll feel um, a little discomfort in your head from pressing this point. Uh, sometimes your forehead, sometimes the base of the skull could be anywhere. Uh, just do it enough so that it's very, very tolerable. And breathe into it and see if you can get that to calm, to dissipate. See if it decreases while you hold that spot. Great, and give it a little stretch, bringing the ear towards the opposite shoulder. Hmm. And these muscles pull our shoulders up to our ears. Now let's get the ear away from the shoulder and give yourself a big squeeze hug. I'm lifting my shoulder so that it slackens the tissue. And then once you grab it, you can drop the shoulder and it'll stretch it out a bit, you'll find. Mmm, big squeeze. So when we're tense, not only do our shoulders want to move up, they also want to move forward. So what I'd like you to do here is find your sternum, that bone right in the front here, go right to the side of it with your fingers, and we're going to spread that fascia to, and by fascia I mean connective tissue, we're going to spread it out towards the shoulder. 
And while you're doing that, you can actually externally rotate to open it up a little more. So I'm just bringing sort of my hand back like that. You could do that with it down too, it's just that you can't see my hand there. And bringing that all the way out, you can use your fingertips, you can use a flat hand like this, you can use your um, knuckles over here nice and gently, you can even use a whole fist, whatever feels good to you. Each one is going to give you a different kind of pressure, some more specific, some broad, so you can really feel that out. You're going to go all the way out to uh, this bone that you might feel at the shoulder. And externally rotate. You can even give your arm a little stretch up and back while you do this. Try to press your shoulder down as you lift your arm up. Let's go the other side. Find that sternum. Go right to the side of it, right off the bone and start moving that tissue out towards the shoulder. Externally rotate the hand. Maybe do a little circle. Open it up and squeeze those deltoids. Mm, big bear hug for yourself. Roll the shoulders. Think about putting your shoulder blades into your back pockets. So bring your right shoulder blade and put it into your left back pocket and your left shoulder blade put it into your right back pocket and just feel that wonderful openness of the chest. Take a nice breath. Shake out your arms. Let them rest down heavily at your side. Feel your feet on the floor. Feel yourself supported by the earth. If you're sitting like I am, feel yourself supported in your chair. Deep breath into the belly. Exhale, notice how you feel differently than you felt before. Savor that feeling, enjoy it, and remember it. It's worth taking the time it saves time to take time for yourself and enjoy your life. Don't rush through it. If you like this video, please give me the thumbs up, subscribe for more like this, and comment below. Let me know how this went for you and any other thoughts you have on anxiety and anxiety relief. I'll see you soon.